Okay, I'm going to try to explain to you guys all how to glaze things, um, and I'm going to try and be really basic um, with this. I'll still go into a lot of detail, but I'll try and make it as basic as possible. So I just want to recap a little bit, since it's been a while since I've seen you all. Uh, so um, you guys have your low fire vessel and your high fire vessel. So here we have a low fire vessel, here we have a high fire vessel. So we have whiteware and stoneware. And so this here are the cones. These are the temperatures that we fire everything at. So um, low fire is cone 06 to 04. That's the range that we're working in. Um, and then high fire is cone 10. And so it's 2,381 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, one thing to remember that bisque is the same for every clay body. So both low fire and high fire clay bodies get this to the same temperature. Um, they all go in the kiln together. And so we just do that to be very efficient. We're just trying to make the work so that it's um, strong and permanent and less fragile and also very energy efficient. So it's really in the glazing that we really have to pay attention to cones. So I want you to just pay, pay special attention to the way this works. When we talk about zeros, O's in front of the cones, those are usually low fire. And the way the zeros or the O's work is that they work similar to the way negatives work. So um, cone 4 is a much lower temperature. Cone 04 is a much lower temperature than 4. So never get lazy and say, I want to fire this to cone 4, when you really mean cone 04. These are, you know, so this is 1,940 degrees Fahrenheit. This is 2,174 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not a huge temperature variation, but in the kiln, it's miles apart. Um, if you fire, our low fire clay body to a cone four, it's gonna melt. Okay, so be very careful and pay special attention to um, your glazes and putting the right glazes on the right pieces. So obviously we use low fire glaze for our whiteware and we use high fire glaze for our stoneware. Um, things can get a little bit confusing because um, uh, whiteware is very inflexible. Whiteware you have to use low fire glaze on it or under glaze on it and fire it at a low fire temperature. If you try to put high fire glaze on a whiteware piece and if you try to fire it to coat 10 it's going to melt. So whiteware is very inflexible and this is where it gets confusing a little bit to some people um, when you're first learning this stuff. But um, this is coat 10, this is a high fire piece. Um, if you make something out of high fire clay you can fire it at a low fire temperature. You can add low fire glaze on it and then fire it at a low fire temperature. Um, so it's flexible. You have options basically whenever you work with stoneware. You can fire it at the high temperature or you can fire it at the low temperature. Whiteware, you don't have options. You're really stuck to those low fire um, materials. Uh, so one thing to also pay special attention to though, so if you do um, choose to put low fire glaze on a high fire piece, you need to put it back on the shelf in the appropriate place. If you put low fire glaze on the stoneware, and if you put it in the shelf back there that says cone 10, all that glaze is going to melt off and ruin a kiln shelf and make everybody very mad. So the glazing part is very important. So make sure you're putting the right glaze on the right piece. And then also the placement is super duper important. Uh, we don't worry about the placement with greenware um, before it's bisque because any because we can recognize bisque, it's obvious, and so and because all bisque goes at the same temperature, at a very low fire. 